Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and today I'm going to be showing you how um, different methods of compressing, archiving, and doing both at the same time, and what good terminal commands that do these are. So first of all, let's get this straight. Compressing and archiving are two totally different things. Archiving is something kind of similar to what tar does. It takes a directory and turns it into a file, or it takes a file and turns it into a compressed file that then you can take the tar file of whatever you've tarred and move it somewhere else quickly and efficiently. Compressing is when you use some kind of algorithm to smartly go into a file and find patterns and change those patterns into one simple pattern that never repeats, it just says it repeats so that way real files um, get generated from them so it's turning um, a file into a um a real thing it's turning a um file into a compressed version of the file that can be decompressed and then so let me explain things that do these zip which is your probably most familiar one to everyone compresses and archives and let me demonstrate what i mean when you have a folder you can zip it and it'll create one zip file for the folder that is smaller than the folder was so it compressed and archived that. Tar just archives. It takes a folder and turns it into a file or something like that. And gzip just compresses. You've probably never heard of gzip, but there's a command gzip, which literally just takes a file and turns it into a .gz file. It doesn't do anything. It, it can't do anything with directories, really. So let me demonstrate all these commands. So first of all, I'll cd to my desktop because um, that's where all my files are. So now all I will need to do is say I have this file, file.txt. First I'll zip it. And by the way, you should have watched other terminal lessons before this one. So here's a file.txt.zip. It's 12 kilobytes, while well, the original file.txt was 1,000 or 1,000,000, 1,600 kilobytes. So, as we can see, it really went in there and did a good job compressing and archiving this. So, say I have a folder, and I have two files in that folder. Okay, so now this folder has two items in it. Okay, so say I want to zip this folder. I just do a zip-r folder dot zip folder. So now I have a zip of this folder. And there were four items in this folder, but it comes out with one zip file. Then if I delete this folder, unzip this zip file, I have the entire folder back because it was not only compressed but archived as well. So that's my zip. Say I want a tar. I'll just say Here is my tar of this folder. And it's one file for the folder, so if I delete the folder and untar the tar, here I have the exact folder back. But if I take a look at this, 1.6 megabytes, this is 1.6 megabytes as well. So it's practically the exact same size, even a little bit big. So, why does this happen? Well, if you take a look, let me open this up with text edit. I'll just use taco. Right here, we actually have the contents of the files directly inside of this, as you can see, because tar doesn't compress. So the reason that people don't just have tar files sitting around anymore is because they waste space when you could compress them. So let me just gzip this folder and show you why gzip has nothing to do with archiving. Type gzip space dash r folder. Watch this. Now I've gzipped this folder. The folder is still there. There's no folder dot gzip. When I open it up, every file inside of it is gone, and instead there are gzipped versions of the files that within them contain the actual files. So how, how funny is that? I think that's pretty funny, the way that gzip works. Um, so gzip, ultimately, just Arch, or, or compresses, not archives. 
So the way to use tar in gzip to archive and compress is obviously to make a tar of whatever and then gzip that tar. So you do gzip space and then the tar file. So here's that the, the dot tar dot gz. Here's my folder. So tar dot gz, there's an easier way to do that. You just do tar space c or z c bbf folder dot tar dot gz dot yeah, wait, whatever folder. And I'll delete this. Okay, so here Tar can also do this. So if you watch my other terminal lessons, you'll probably be comfortable with what I'm doing here. But gzip is obviously just for compressing. But I like gzip more, actually, because it can just be used in a flash. So I can take one file, gzip it, and send it to my friend with a practically simple as hell terminal command. So gzip is a good way to just take files and make them smaller. tar is a good way to take files and make them into one. And zip does both most conveniently because you can just on a Mac right click on something and click compress and you come out with a zip. So that's just my opinion on encryption methods and I will point out that gzip is used on stuff like HTTP compression can use gzip. So gzip is very important basically. Um, so gzip, the command is gzip space dash r space folder or gzip space file. So that's how to use gzip. And that's um, what compression and archiving is. So thanks for watching MacHazel1. Subscribe and goodbye.